Hey guys, welcome back to the stream. If you were with me last week, then um, you listened to a very quiet stream that was mostly me just heavy breathing. But we figured out how to put music on about halfway through last stream. So we've got some good jams going, some a lo-fi. Wow, I would have been a really great radio personality. Anyways, hi Momo, hi Summer, Alice, Kennel, Allie, Lily, Caitlin, Mar, I saw you in here, Kayla, Sarah, I am so excited for tonight's stream because we are going to be touring some just really, really beautiful islands, some of my favorite people on Instagram, and they are just so creative. Wow. Wow. All right. So let's get started. Uh, first up, we're going to be touring at Thicket Crossing, and she's kind of a mini celebrity, or a, actually a full-fledged celebrity in Animal Crossing Instagram. Um, she is the greenest island of all time. She's our favorite little goblin, and I'm just really excited. So Grace is working out while she's watching this. Well, that makes one of us. Oh, hey, Alice. <laughs> okay, so Monica, hey. First, we have to get ready for Thicket Crossing. I mean, we can't go to Thicket Crossing looking like this. So, get our Thicket Crossing attire on. Obviously, um, I mean, I, I'm a good witch. Let, let's go with that. So, the one tricky thing that I didn't even realize until Bean actually pointed this out to me was that... Um, we definitely don't want the dodo codes just flying up on the screen. So anytime that I type in a dodo code for an island, I am going to just switch over scenes really fast to the loading screen. And then I will switch right back after I'm done typing it in. So hang tight for a second, guys. We're going to fly off to Thicket. Okay, guys, we are back at the airport. So um, just some background on Bean, the uh, island resident representative of Thicket, is she has easily become one of my most favorite people that I've met on Instagram. Um, I'm in a group chat with her and some other people who I think are in the chat right now, Momo, Lily, Katie, if you're here, hi. Um, and she's just so talented, and she writes the best Instagram captions. So if you're having a bad day, I cannot recommend enough to go back and just scroll through her entire feed and read her captions because they're they're truly wonderful. Oh, hi, Telly. Oh, Joe, you're here. Hey. Um, so, yeah, her captions are really great. Sometimes when I can't sleep at night but my boyfriend can sleep and I want to be annoying and keep him awake so I'm not alone, um, there have been nights where I've read off her Instagram captions. 
to him. And he laughed, and he is he's hard to make laugh. So there you go. Oh my gosh, 89 viewers, guys. Oh, I feel so special. Oh, quick update too. If you were on my last stream and you witnessed me desperately trying to find stitches while only getting the ugliest of villagers, aka all the kangaroos. Um, I ended up getting stitches on my other island. Um, I bought him off Nokazan, so as you guys know, I had to basically trade my firstborn and a vital organ in order to obtain him, but I did, and he moved into Cozy Cove today, and it was really exciting. So it's good. We're really racking up the creepy villagers. I mean, we've got Coco, we've got Lucky, we've got Stitches. Uh, I've got Kiki on this island. Like, good group of, good group of guys. All right, so... Welcome to Thicket. Uh, last time I visited Bean, I got incredibly lost, even though she was leading me around. Oh, true friendship, true Animal Crossing friendship. Do I have a net or something that I can hit back with? So when I, okay, so welcome to this live stream. It's called Bean Hit Squeaks with a star net repeatedly while trying to give a tour. Okay, here we go. Thank you. One, one last time for good luck. Yes, walk slow because I'm, I'm a little, I don't have that great of coordination. So we're in her little resident services area. We've got a gnome. I would expect nothing less than for Bean to have a gnome. Love what she did here. Just want to say like her resident services is obviously really close to her airport, but she terraformed in front of it and made it kind of hidden. So that's awesome. That's a great hack. Michelle, you found stitches on your third NMT. Oh my God. It's how's it feel to be God's favorite in the words of Bean? The stream's just Bean quotes. Okay, so we're going over to this little area here. Oh my gosh, and her map is in the corner, the coveted map. I don't think anyone on Instagram gets asked for their map more than she does. So there you go, guys. Take a screenshot, sell it on eBay. Um, I, okay, I love this. Like the little hand cart with the book on top. The, the waterfall, the double waterfall. And this vending machine is just... It, Somehow it goes with everything. Like, even though this is a magical, witchy, goblin wonderland, this vending machine doesn't look weird. Oh, my gosh. Selectively placed weeds. We love it. Some weed on the beach. <laughs> That's okay. I marked that this video was not for children. Um, ooh, ooh. Oh, a little rocking horse. Look at this aesthetic, guys. The butterfly book on a stone stool. An old school boombox, a smoker. Yes, being a fire, a sand castle. Oh my gosh, hi Katie. Thanks for joining and watching our little bean. Oh my gosh, 96 viewers. Guys, if we hit 100 viewers at one time, like I might cry. I'm just warning you, I am not that emotionally stable and I've accidentally sat in a chair. Okay, wait. Cool. This is awesome. We got a little canal situation. Oh, some some exercise. Well, this is the most exercise I've done during quarantine. A strategic bamboo placement. Oh, it's really beautiful. And we have these little fairy circles on the ground. I mean, I can see why Bean has a cult following. Look at this magical island. All right, I'm stuck. Even my character is uncoordinated. Like, it, this isn't even me in real life and I'm having issues. 101 viewers, guys! Ooh. But I don't know what it's called when people get excited in the chat. Hype up the chat. Holla at me in the chat. I don't know, but I love you guys. Thank you for supporting the channel. Even though you're all here for being, it's totally fine. Green leaf pile. Okay. Okay. Should I sit down too? Oh, should we take a picture? Let's document this moment. Um... I don't know what reactions I have on this account. Aggravation. Bean, sit down. I didn't take the picture. Are you kidding me? That looks beautiful, right, guys? Oh, yes. All right. That's me being lazy and Bean being active. Bean, Bean, active. Oh. I warned you guys when I started streaming that there would be dad jokes galore. All right. Where are you? I can't see you. Okay. So her villager houses are tucked in here, which is really cute. I know some people get really caught up in making them a pretty yard and the fencing and all that, but I really like how she has them. Like they're, they look so cute like that and cozy. Another gnome, um, Bean, I don't know if these gnomes have names. I 
figure you can't type in the chat while you're leading me around, but. Oh, wow. Oh, I love how she has all these little setups all along the water. And this is like a canal here. See, islands like this just blow my mind uh, because how, where do you even start creating something like this? And everything is its own entity. Like you have this little area there. You have that area we just visited, the swinging bench area that we were in. So they're all separate, but they all go together. And it just blows my mind. Okay, we like a good campsite. Mountain bike, one of my favorite outdoor decor items. Not going to lie to you guys. Who knew a bike could be aesthetic? Wait, All right, where to next? Oh my God, Jacob's here. Oh, Marie, welcome to the fam. That's what you're supposed to say on YouTube, right? Oh yeah, my net's still there. Thanks, Lily. I need all the help I can get. I'm like trying to read the chat, but then also follow Bean so I don't get lost and stuck in Thicket forever and turned into a frog. So thank you. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> walking's hard. What can I say? Oh, I like this little cactus book low table situation over here. Oh, this is my favorite DIY, guys. This this lantern, when I got it, I was like, what did I do in a past life to deserve this? Wow, I must have been a really good person. Or maybe, oh, Libby, hey, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for subscribing and supporting me. This is cute. I like this. Oh, Jacob, thank you. I'm assuming that's Rodeo Island, Jacob. And if it is, hello, I love you. Thank you for joining me today. Oh, is that the bird bath that you promised to make me? Um a month ago, you know, when the game was launched. Can I do that? Oh, wow, a working water pump. Excellent. Oh yeah, sorry, Marie. I hit 300 subscribers, oh my gosh. I'm gonna try not to like get weird and emotional on you guys, you don't need that. I'll save that for my boyfriend. Oh, Elizabeth, thank you so much for subscribing. Oh, what a beautiful bush. Guys, the bushes are my one of my favorite ways to decorate. Is this my bird bath? <gasps> Whoa, we're not worthy, guys. I mean, it. she worked really hard on this DIY for me. It, it took a whole month, so it was definitely made with love and care. I like all the stairs. Like, they just look so good. And I'm, I'm like, weirdly anxious about building inclines. Like, I put way too much thought into it. Oh, hey, Nicole. Another dome. I can't wait to hear about what their names are. Oh, hey, Lily. Thank you for subscribing and supporting the channel. Oh. All right, all right. We're getting wild here. Beans, like, it's, it's a marathon, not a race. Oh, okay. I like the secret beach. It's really cute. I wish Red was here so we could see the whole aesthetic. Up another incline. Eleanor, you just subscribed? I don't know why it didn't notify me. I had that problem last time. For some reason, it just... Oh, a Stonehenge. We love it. Um, I had that problem last time. For some reason, it stopped giving me subscriber notifications. So, guys, put in the chat if you subscribe, and I'll still give you a shout-out. Not that my shout-outs are worth much. It's just my voice and your name. Oh, wow. Okay, guys. I'm really excited for this. I've only been in Bean's house once, and it was so beautiful. So, I'm excited. We should give her some joy. All right. The mushroom wreath. We love a mushroom wreath. Oh. Summer, you have gnomes all over your island too. <laughs> Katie, really? <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so green and so bean. Oh, thank you guys so much for subscribing. I I really don't know what's going on. Is it Osiris? I don't want I hate mispronouncing people's names. 
it, even though my name is phonetic in real life, people still mispronounce it. It's amazing because I'm named after a U.S. state. Okay, so I, I'm leaving the house. I, I have no coordination, you guys, even in this game. I don't know what to do. Okay. More. Oh, seeing your name made me so happy. Hello. Oh, Michaela, that means so much. Thank you. Um, where are we going? Here we go. Hey, Jackie. I know Summer, her house is so beautiful. Okay, so let's see. This looks like Bean's bedroom. We've got some really nice green furniture. A bird. Can you do anything with the bird? Nope. Okay. Oh, Erica, thank you so much. I'm so bummed that my that my alerts stopped working. We'll have a little intermission at some point, you guys know, because I have to refill my wine glass, and I will check on um, why the alerts aren't working, because that's my favorite part, and I got new alerts today. Oh, thank you for subscribing, Melissa. You're so sweet. You guys, tell me in the chat, too. So I'm thinking maybe, in addition to live streams, just making some content, like how to terraform certain things, maybe go to Harv, show you guys how to put a cute aesthetic room together. So this is the kitchen. Love this. I really like this wallpaper. Nice and cozy and cottage-like for all you cottage core gals out there. Momo, am I really? Oh my gosh, I hate that I'm not seeing the alerts, guys. Okay. Hey, Alex, I am having some Pinot Grigio. I am still home with my mom, uh, visiting her. Just wanted to support her right now during lockdown. Um, she was refilling my wine glass last time, last stream, because I was so nervous, but she actually went out to run some errands, aka didn't want to hear me talk all night, basically to myself. So it looks like I'm going to have to take a couple mini breaks and pour my own wine. Ugh. Again, I really love how Bean integrates more urban aspects with her, you know, cottagey, witchy goblin forest style. Like this utility pole just works so well with everything else she has going on. Oh, thanks for subscribing, Sharon. More tour videos off stream. All right, Michelle, thank you. I appreciate the input. I, I'm making this content for you guys, so the more feedback that I can get on it, um, the better content I'll be able to put out. Oh, I like this wreath a lot. I, when I first started playing this game, I didn't like mums. I'm not sure why. I just had something weird against them. And now they're one of my favorite flowers. Oh, thank you so much, Erica. That means so much. I, I'm still honestly pinching myself. Like when I look at my followers on Instagram and I saw that I was at like 12.7 or something and it, it's just crazy to me that this many people are looking at my content and supporting my work. So thank you guys again. Okay, I'm really digging this museum entrance because I know it's a really big trend for Animal Crossing Islands to have really elaborate museum entrances, but I love this. Oh, hey, Atlee, welcome to the stream. No worries, we are just touring Thicket Crossing. Um, which is run by the lovely bean and it's, it's a green bean paradise, truly. Another gnome. I don't know how old everyone is in the chat or I would suggest a drinking game of take a sip every time you see a gnome on Thicket Crossing, but you know, if you're under 21, be responsible, take a sip of water, stay hydrated, that's important. Oh, Sarah, I'm glad you, under you, you understand my feelings on that because at first I was like, eh. But now, mums are, mums are glorious. All right, let's see. Ooh, I like this candle. Low iron table. We love that. I think that the ironwood craze might be subdued now, which is good, because for a while, it, it was crazy. That's why they call it a craze, guys. Let's, let's be really bad guests and lay down on Bean's shell bed. Look how relaxing this is. 
Okay, sorry. We're focused. We're focused. It's past her bedtime. Bean, where are you at? Okay, here we go. So, guys, do you think Bean will turn me into a frog if we ask her nicely? Bean, hold on, hold on. We've been preparing for this. AKA, I'm going to take my wand out. Bean, where did you go? Okay, cast a spell on me. I don't know if you can hear me. Watch her. I've turned audio off on this. Turn me into the frog, not the turtle. All right, guys. I guess you need to... You need to do your own magic around here, so... Finally! And also, if you guys caught my last stream, um, I really like frog memes. So if you ever want to just say hi, reach out on Instagram, please do so via frog meme. That's very important to me. And I got some really great ones last time. I appreciate you guys. Okay. And every time I talk about frog memes, I lose viewers. If you clicked off this video because you don't like frog memes, I mean, don't let the door hit you on the way out. You know what I'm saying? Just Bean and her pet frog. Bean is powerful, Katie. Erica, I don't have an accent. Oh, man, what kind of accent? I live in the U.S. I do do some really great voices, though. I'm just warning you guys. I'm going to try not to bring them out on the first few streams because I would like to get a decent amount of subscribers before I start talking like my Russian alter ego, Svetlana. So, yes. Okay, we've got a villager. Who are you? Why is Bianca prettier than me? <laughs> All right, sorry, Bean. I'm just being friendly. Bean friendly. Oh, man, we have a little spa area up here with some school chairs. All I've ever wanted is to sit in a school chair on a pin. Hey, Valerie, thanks for subscribing. I don't know what happened, but I'm finally getting alerts again. All right, guys. I feel bad because, like, you guys have been with me since the beginning. Obviously, I've just started streaming. And all right, I didn't mean to lay down. And I've had a lot of technical difficulties. Oh, Erica, thank you so much. My mom is from England, actually. That's part of the reason why I bonded with Bean and Katie, my English friends. <laughs> Oh, I just love it here. It's so cozy. And I'm glad we're touring it at night. Excuse me, Bianca. Excuse me. Frogs crossing. Wow. Animal crossing. Yeah, right. This animal can't cross. They need to change the name. I'm, I'm writing an angry letter to Nintendo. All right. Oh, yay, my little English friends. Oh, my gosh, guys, my um, my friends from, my IRL friends are texting me, and I'm afraid it's because they somehow found this stream. All right, we got a little garden plot here, a little scarecrow. Oh, hey, Goblin, thanks for subscribing. Oh, yes, Elle, I... Hey, Teresa, thanks for subscribing. I do know not everyone lives in the U.S., contrary to popular belief. Americans are not that dumb. I know there's a big world out there. Um, but I guess I'm just, um, I forget. I'm not going to lie. We are really having animal blocking, yes, Joe. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is beautiful. I love this park clock. See some little mushrooms on the ground. I'm sure, guys, if you ask nicely, Bean will happily share QR codes with you because she's just an angel. Okay. It's always interesting to me, too, to see how people work in, like, the shops and stuff when they do islands like this. Um, but it, 
she just makes it look so good. Like it just fits in so seamlessly with all the foresty stuff. You are lost. Wow. I Guys, I don't know about you, but I think that this is a photo op. Lost frog. Beautiful. I'm gonna print that out and hang it on my wall. Okay, sorry, Bean. I'm coming, I'm coming. This is a weird song, guys. I'm gonna change it. Okay, this one's called Relaxation. We like that a little Thursday night, Friday Eve chill. I love all the flowers. Hyacinths. Good choice, Bean. Oh, so pretty. We have a little fruit basket here. All the different fruit trees. And I, again, I love this terraforming so much. Like this river just looks so natural. And I think that's probably something a lot of people struggle with is making the rivers that they terraform themselves look natural. But this just has like all the right edges. Oh, Stephanie. Yeah, I love the tiny library. It's so cute. City Girl on YouTube makes great lo-fi. Oh, Lauren, thank you for the suggestion. Again, I'm still so new at this that I'm kind of figuring out like what music I can use, how to properly credit and all that. Okay, I looked down at the chat and I definitely lost Bean. Oh, here we go, ha, huh, we made it out. Well guys, it looks like that's a wrap, wow. What a beautiful, beautiful island. Thank you so much Bean for leading me around thicket it was so cool i only got half lost once all right we're back to our typical squeaks attire well bead i love you thank you for the tour get some rest and i'll see you later All right, guys, let's hear it in the chat for Bean and her such, so beautiful island, Thicket Crossing. That was so fun to tour. Uh, yes, Momo, Bean is an absolutely magical person. If you guys don't follow her already, I linked her Instagram in the description. Words I never thought I would say because I never imagined myself on YouTube. Um, but yes, you should definitely follow her. Premium content, very green and if you need some terraforming inspiration, she's a great person to follow because obviously she is absolutely perfect at it. All right, guys. So I'm really excited about, well, I'm excited about all these islands, um, but I tried to do some variety for you guys um, just because, you know, everyone has different tastes. So the next island that I'm taking you to, um, their resident rep is Evangeline. You might know her as Mosswick Isle on Instagram. And she has an enchanted vintage forest island with some fairy vibes. I believe that's how she described it to me. So I am so excited to look around and look at that. And yes, we just did a flyover of my second island right now. It is it's trash. Um, the process of moving everything over from one island to another and then still trying to balance both islands has been very interesting. <laughs> Guys, Evangeline is in the chat and is pointing out that going after Thicket is going to be an experience. Oh my God, Stephanie, your husband. That's so funny. Uh, let's see here. So, um, Miss Evangeline, if you can hear me right now, if you wouldn't mind sending through that dodo code for me, um, just so we can we can get going on our tour. I'm so excited. Oh, you guys are excited for Mosswick. Me too. Me too. 
Okay, Evangeline, we waiting for the dodo. Or maybe you probably sent it to me already, maybe. I'm really not good at multitasking, and I realize that streaming is basically multitasking. All right, guys, so I'm going to give Miss Evangeline a moment to send through the Dodo code to me, and um, let's just take a quick break. We'll type it in, and we'll get going. One second. All right, guys, get excited. Also, Stephanie, I saw that you asked how I set up such a great lineup for the stream. Um, I have been so lucky to become friends with these girls on Instagram, and they're just some of the sweetest people ever. And I know I said this in my last stream, but the Animal Crossing Instagram community is just so awesome. Um, and they were excited to give you guys a tour. 
All right, so every time I see Moss with Isles photos on Instagram, I am just blown away. She has a creative job in real life, so it doesn't surprise me at all that she just has such a good eye when it comes to decorating and terraforming and all of that. But I've been dying to come visit, so I'm, I'm excited that we can finally do this and we can do it all together. So I asked her to give me a little bit of a description of her island, and she said enchanted fairy vintage forest, which... Honestly, if that's not the most aesthetic thing you've ever heard, I don't even know. Oh, and she's looking so cute. Yay, we're here. Yes, Goblin, you got it. Just a little bit of patience and some inspiration. So a bunch of great island tours in a row. What could be better? Okay, so when you get off the plane. It looks like you first see this cute little fruit stand. I love the all white flowers. Oh my gosh. I love this kettle. This is one of my, again, one of my favorite items. I think I say that about every item. Oh, hey, Marin. Um, I love the pastries and the white iron garden furniture. It's all, it's so dreamy and whimsical. Oh, fruit infused water. Oh, so pretty oh my gosh art okay I'm gonna try not to get ahead of myself and just and just follow her okay let's see so we have the little plaza area blue flowers Ooh. fountain I love how she laid out the paths beneath this oh don't worry I will definitely save the life oh hey Katie thanks so much for subscribing Okay. So pretty. I love, I like the thin paths like this. Um, on my first island, I did basically the opposite. It was like four wide, but the thin ones are so cute. Oh, we have a little pottery stand. I see meringue who literally fits in this island aesthetic perfectly someone get Katie some afternoon tea she deserves it even though I'm pretty sure it's 11:30 uh, p.m. in the UK oh so we have a, oh I love this I love bumblebees I'm not sure why but I just really really love them and this area is so cute and I love how she did the yellow flowers with the white cosmos and we got some white mums beehive. Wait, I don't know if I've ever seen this item with the honeycomb. So, so cute. And I love these pots kind of look like they have honey dripping down on them. Okay. Oh, thank you so much for subscribing, Victoria. Oh, I love the white phone booth and the white street lamp. I feel like you can't go wrong with white items if you're trying to give your island like that pretty fairy whimsical look. They just look so nice. Oh, I love that mushroom lamp too. Quick shout out to Sapling Crossing, aka Lily, who gifted me so many mush lamps and we had barely even spoken before. She is one of the sweetest people that I've met on Instagram and wow, just so generous. And she's going to start screaming, uh, screaming, because she's going to start screaming. She's going to start streaming soon. So if you guys want more AC live streams, I definitely recommend Lily. Oh, I like this little retro gas pump. Super cute. Oh, wait. I want to see Meringue's outfit because I saw someone in the chat mention it. Oh. Meringue, let me see your fit, girl. Oh, so cute. Oh. All right. We got to stop and say hi. I can't resist. Oh, yeah, Momo, you agree? Yes. Oh, Joe, thank you so much for joining in. I hope you'll come back later. Yeah, I have one friend from Mo Mosswick. Well, I like to think Evangeline was my friend. Oh, I love you too, Lily. Oh, we've all, all my UK girls in the chat. This is an incredibly tea-friendly island. 
Um, I love the little cream and sugar. And then we have another tea kettle. And the custom code on this doll is super cute. Oh my gosh, you made Meringue's outfit? I love that. Oh, and Summer's going to start streaming too. Awesome. I feel like I needed more AC streamers to watch. So I'm excited. And I was slightly bullied slash influenced by some of my friends to start streaming some horror games as well. I'm not, I'm definitely not a gamer. I wish I was, but I think it'd be fun because I love horror and it would just be, it'd be interesting. You guys could hear me scream and, you know, make weird commentary. Tiny library, hands down, best DIY in the whole game. Fight me, it's the best. I like this pear tree. Oh, hey, Izzy, of course I remember you. Welcome to the stream. I really like the garden wagon in this green color too. Got a little pond. Oh, guys, look at this view. Like, let's just stop and admire this view. It's so beautiful. Oh, Rachel, you are? Awesome. If you guys do play horror games, um, Fairhaven Crossing, who is, again, so sweet, like everybody else in this community is amazing, uh, gave me a lot of recommendations for some horror games. I would love to hear some more from you guys, so... Send them through in my DMs with the frog beam. That is the toll that you must pay. If you want to DM me, I'll definitely answer you. If you include a frog beam, please. Oh, this is just, I mean, I see her Instagram photos all the time and I'm amazed by them. And this just really, I mean, here it is. Oh, I love it. So pretty. Oh, more tea, guys. I can't help but notice there's not a lot of coffee options on this island and your girl needs at least three cups of coffee a day really to function like a normal person. Eleanor, no garden wagon. Oh, garden wagon is a good DIY, but I'm not going to lie. I am very partial to the tiny library. Oh, should I take, should we take a picture? I'm going to make everyone that I tour take a picture with me on the, on the bench. Oh, guys, this is quality content right here. How cute. All right, thanks. Oh, yes, Resident Evil is what I figured I, that, or people kept telling me amnesia. Um, and I like the idea of amnesia because apparently you don't have anything to like defend yourself with. You just have to hide and I have no hand-eye coordination whatsoever. So like the less shooting or fighting that I have to do and the more hiding that I have to do, although that may, might make for a not very interesting stream, I'll probably be better at it. Oh, pink hyacinths and the white wind flowers. They look so pretty together. Sharon, you're drinking coffee right now. What time is it by you? I, I drink coffee at all times of the day. It's like a hug in a cup. I love it. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at these pink roses and the pink wood flowers. Amnesia is neat. Okay. It's definitely on my list. If Again, if you guys will actually watch me stream horror games, I'm here for it. Oh, we've got Diana. Should we talk to her? Again, too pretty for me. It's weird, like, when I... There's so many villagers out there, and I'm like, should you be that much more attractive than me? That's weird. <laughs> Atlee, yeah, that, that... That's it. I like the hiding. Dead space. Ooh. Rachel, thank you for all these tips. I really appreciate it. Oh, Marshall is my second favorite villager, I think. I have him on both my islands, and, I mean, again, Coco. Coco is queen, but Marshall's up there. Oh, Sharon at 7 p.m. Yeah, nice 7 p.m. coffee. That's the way to go. Look at this view, you guys. Oh, so pretty. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make this into a photo shoot, but, I mean, I am a 20-something female. What would you guys expect? Team Tiny Library. Oh, my gosh. My girl is here. 
Oh, I like the oil lamp and the pattern on this. This, look at all these. Hi. Okay, again, I love the lazy villagers. They're so cute, but damn, we get it. You talk to the bugs. It's, it's fine. It's cute the first couple times. But the bugs are always whispering lame DIYs in your ear. Like, really, another bug told you how to make a cardboard bed? This is so cute. I like how she has the clock here. Also, I don't know if you guys knew this. I'm going to just go ahead and take a moment to point it out in case you didn't. Because I honestly didn't know it for a long time. That you can customize the, um, the pictures. And they're really cute. Like, this is a customized picture. And I... Crazy. All right, the end. Stephanie, you finished your coffee pot. Oh, I feel for you. The last sip of coffee. It's a sad time. Oh, I like how the kettle corresponds with the roof color of that house. And we have Marshall's. I think that's Marshall's house. With the pink flowers. Real men wear pink. Park. Oh, I love these signs. Again, like Bean, I'm sure that Evangeline will be a little sweetie and help you guys out with any custom design coats that you see on your island, on her island that you might like. Oh, I love these diagonal bridges. So pretty. And the different shades of pink flowers. Oh, and I love how she placed the statue here. Major inspo, guys. Major inspo. The art in the park is so pretty. Basically, all I'm saying is so pretty over and over again. But, I mean, can you think of a better way to describe this? Like, it's so beautiful. Oh, so if you guys follow Moss McGuile on Instagram, then you know we're about to see her house. And it is so beautiful the way that she has it set up. Yeah, Stephanie, wine. This is a very wine-friendly stream. I encourage everyone to grab a glass of wine if you're of legal drinking age or, I don't know, a juice box. Oh, Miss Mobo, thanks for subscribing. Okay. I'm excited. We're going to see her entrance, and it is... All right. This is one of those tricky, really? Let me throw. Okay, we got it. Momo, you pay too many bells for this. So, oh my gosh, Marin was in the chat earlier. I don't know if she's still in the chat, but I traded for the summer solstice crown. Um, I gave her some star fragments because I recently had a meteor shower, so I had a ton, and I, I swear, I almost shed a tear when I saw it. It's beautiful, and sunflowers are my favorite flower. Guys, look at this. Oh, look at it. The painting, the little sapling, that really cute picture again. Katie, tequila is definitely acceptable. It's definitely acceptable. I'm just old now. Like, if I drink tequila, I wake up, like, three days later and don't know what happened. Oh, Summer, your friend brewed your... That's so cool. I have celiac disease, sadly, but I used to be a big beer drinker. So um, I miss beer. Gluten-free beer just is not not the best. Momo, you've worn yours for two days. Good. Get your bells worth, girl. <gasps> you guys. Oh. Look at this. It's so pretty and an airy little tissue box, the mum cushion, which if anyone has the mum cushion DIY or if anyone can craft me a mum cushion, I am happy to trade you something that you're looking for. I just got my eye on the mum cushion. Oh, okay, Atlee. Well, hopefully we see you again in 20 minutes. We'll still be here. We got a lot of great islands to tour tonight. Oh, I love this room too. It's like very eclectic. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, Stephanie. I, I have had a few gluten-free beers. Um, I drink a Mission. Uh, there's one that I can't pronounce, and I'm not going to try and butcher the pronunciation, but it starts with a D, and it's really good. So I'm learning. It's a process. 
Yes, Mama, the moon chair is chef's kiss. Anyways, I love this room. It looks like a room that I would absolutely want to have in real life. Oh, Grace, you do? Aunt Katie, it's summer. You guys are the best. Thank you. I love the, this coat hanger, too. Okay, sorry. I'm getting distracted. Yeah, Dora Dam. That's it. That's the beer that I drink the most. And, um... It's really good. I was surprised. Oh, Emma, I know. Magical is the perfect way to describe this island. Um, wow, I just love everything about... Oh, thank you, Raina. You guys are so nice. Look at this room. I love the candlesticks. I love the dress and the hat on the wall. That's another really great tip for decorating your houses, guys. Clothes look so good when you hang them up on the wall. They just really add a little something extra. I love how she put the stockings up there too. Also, I just pointed at the screen where the stockings are and you guys can't see me. Oh yeah, Marin, that wallpaper is so, so beautiful. Momo, you have it too? Does everyone have the mom cushion but me? What is this? Yes, Rachel, I agree. I think it's one of my favorites so far. It's just omission is more like easier to find at stores so I drink a lot of that but okay all right look at this room guys <laughs> the rose rug the teddy bear the rotten chair is it rotten or rattan you know what I mean the wicker chair um Tracy it's actually a wallpaper from the wedding collection and I think Evangeline and I might have gotten it from the same person, Eilish, on Instagram. I love her so much. She, wow, we have so much in common, and she just, she's amazing. So um, she gifted them to us, but they are from the wedding collection. So I believe that they'll, that they'll be accessible in June. Hey, Jocelyn, um, we are on Mosswick Isle with Evangeline. So we're actually only on the second island so far and we have a lot of islands to tour. So don't worry. Uh, yes, Izzy, I put up something in my Instagram story and I asked people if they would be interested in having their islands toured. Um, and I also just reached out to a couple of my friends who I knew had just absolutely drool worthy islands. Like Evangeline, I kind of bullied her into this because at first she was like, I don't know, I'm not ready. <gasps> Holy kitchens, Batman. Will you guys look at this? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Katie, you're going to do just fine. I, we So Katie, are you... Let's see who's up next. Oh, Skylar's up next. Okay. I was going to say, Katie, I mean, better get ready because we're touring you next. But you got some time to do so many last-minute terraforming. Oh, yeah, Izzy. I, so I did put it on my Instagram story. But um, I'll be doing them again. Let me know in the chat as well how often you guys would like to see island tours like this. Um, I'm just trying to work out a streaming schedule and, you know, when to do what. So... Your feedback is so appreciated. And yes, Stephanie, this kitchen is a dream. I love how she has it like kitchen, but then there's a little seating area over here with the books and the plants. And there's a tiny library in here. It's pretty much perfect. Oh, Eleanor, I think... I'm not sure if you were asking me how old I am or if that was to someone in the chat, but I am 28. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, I think this is my favorite room so far. Um, I'm just a really big girly girl and the the pink wall and the the Venus painting on the wall and the bathrobe and the... Cosmo, the pink Cosmo shower and the pink hourglass. This is, ugh, oh, this is everything. And I'm stuck. It, it's because I physically do not want to leave this room. Oh, I love how she has the garden lanterns in here. Yeah, Momo, I was thinking 
weekend too. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm so new at this. Oh, Erica. Well, thank you so much for joining us tonight and sweet dreams. Thanks for staying up so late. Is you don't have the book recipe, the, the bookshelf or the stack of books? Okay, we get another look at the outside of her house, which again is so stunning. I love it. Another tiny library. I am here for how many tiny libraries there are on this island. Oh, guys, I think that this is the Instagram famous view. Yes, it is. Oh, bye, Erica. Can we get another look at it? I love how she put this moon chair there. I'm like, I'm not ready to leave this spot. The rest of the stream, guys, we're just going to be standing here and staring at Evangeline's beautiful home entrance. Casual. Okay, sorry. I got distracted. I'm right behind you. Here we go. We have the orchard. Oh, another mush lamp. Oh, yes. Isle of Avalon, isn't it? Stunning. She is just, wow, she's incredible. I feel like it takes some serious skill to be able to have things kind of laid out, just like mismatched everywhere. Like it's a lot easier to have an island that's symmetrical and has everything placed just right where you would expect it to go. But it takes such an artistic eye to be able to leave things just, you know, laying somewhere and have them look so good. <laughs> Andrew, that's so funny. Um, everyone's island is pretty in its own way, guys. And we're we're tying we're touring a bunch of different styles today. So oh what? Okay, this is awesome. I didn't know, or I guess I didn't think to put the fish tanks in the stall because it just looks like a built-in aquarium. That's so cool. And the barrel and the fishing rods out here. I keep seeing people with these little fishing areas set up. Um, let me know in the chat if you guys have a little fishing area. I really like it. All right. Well, it looks like that's a wrap. So beautiful. Evangeline, thank you so much for letting us take a look around. Again, guys, all of the island creators social media links are in the description so make sure that you follow mosswick.isle on instagram and you can see more of her beautiful island yeah i i really feel you on that when i try to leave things around it looks messy um oh evangeline says she loves us all bye girl thank you so much Oh, Skylar, you have a fishing area too? Yes, I think they're really cute, especially um, if you got um, if you got all those cute items from the fishing tourney. Oh, Izzy, do you stream also? Lauren, <laughs> my little fishing area is called the whole beach because I'm too lazy. I feel that. Oh, Nicole, you have one too. I just love seeing the villagers do anything. Except the other day I made this really cute, well, I thought it was cute, um, a little sitting area by the beach with like two of the poolside beds and some books, you know, just a little aesthetic area. And my villagers will not go near it. And it makes me so sad. I slaved over this for y'all. And, and you're going to sit on the ground? Oh, Rachel, I agree. Precious is a great word. Okay, guys, guess what? We're flying over my trash island now. Um, and we are going to head over to the next island on the list, which is Skylar. And her island is Sunhaven. And she described it to me as a natural aesthetic island. I'm super excited. Um, you may know her as bubblegum underscore crossing on Instagram. And I think what I love about Skylar so much is... I have been following her and she's been following me since, I think since I first 
got an Animal Crossing Instagram. And, oh, Marina! I know, I, like, so much has changed, and I've gained followers, and it's just been cool to have someone there um, that's followed me from the beginning. So, thank you, Skylar. Sorry, we got to talk to my girl, Marina. Okay, so Skylar has already sent me her dodo code. So we are going to switch to that wonderful loading screen one more time, um, just while I get everything set up to go to our Sunhaven. So sit tight, guys, refill your wine glasses. You knew I was going to say that, and we will be back in just one second.
Hey guys, we are back and Lily just reminded me to check my alerts and guys, I'm not seeing them. I'm so bummed. Um, if you just subscribed or supported me in any way, I love you guys so much. I don't know why my alerts aren't going through. Um, let's see. Um, Skylar, if you can hear me, it looks like the connection was lost with your dodo code. So if you wouldn't mind sending through another one for me, please. Oh, she messaged me right away. Love that. Okay guys, so Skylar is sending through a new dodo code for us, so just hang tight for a second. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the loading stream. All right, guys, we are all set. Oh, I love the view from flying over. It's so pretty. Uh. 
Okay, guys, we are here. Skylar is gonna show us around. Yay, okay. Oh, mush lamp. We love a mush lamp. Hi, Izzy. Um, I will put out another. Oh, are these for me? Oh, we love presents. Thank you, Skylar. Okay. Um, Izzy, I will put a um, I'll put a story up. Um, asking for islands to visit. So just send through a message on there, and we'll work it out for the next stream. Oh, Ashley, thank you so much for supporting my work. I love. Seeing you guys use the presets, um, it's just so cool to see all the creative, amazing things that you do with them, and I truly, truly love it. So thank you so much, Ashley. That means the world, and as always, reach out to me if you have any questions. I'm always here to help. Okay, let's see. So, oh, yay, another little bee area. Guys, I love the bee areas, and I love how she has a little model of a bee. And look at these little mushroom stools. These are so cute. And the mush table. And I really love this this custom pathway here with the little stones. Um, Skylar's Instagram is linked in the description box. It is bubblegum underscore crossing on Instagram. Oh my gosh, there's so much to see at once. All right, I'm, my boyfriend actually texted me and was like, um, you're getting distracted by the chat and you're not looking at what people are trying to show you. So I'm focusing on... Skylar. Okay, so I think that this might be her little orchard area and that she's picked up the fruit already. Let's see. Looks like her native fruit is peaches. We love that. Little campsite area. Again, I love these stone, these little round stones for her walkway. That must have taken so much time. I cannot even imagine. Oh, we have nice waterfalls here. Oh, I love this. So she has resident services in like the same way that people normally do an elaborate entrance for their museum. She has it leading up to resident services. Super cute. Uh, yes, Lemon Drop, it's really, really pretty. Oh, look, I love her flag. And because I've talked to Skylar so many times before on Instagram, I know that Lily is her favorite villager. And Lil Lily has a library. I love this. I like when people use the custom designs to make custom signs like this. So cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. And it, I have the bookshelf DIY, and I just want to say so many books were ordered to make this library. Wow. Fauna School. Oh my gosh, a little school. Class is in session, guys. I was... I was not good at school, so let's let's just peace out of this area. Ooh, it looks so good to when people put down like the dirt the dirt path, like one square of it, and then put plant a flower in it. Just add something extra. Oh, the waterfall, so pretty. Okay, I just I did exactly what my boyfriend told me not to do. Not to get distracted. Oh, we got a nice little stone incline. I love when inclines are placed like this. So cute. Ah, she has a little shopping area. Oh, we're going downstairs. Okay. All the mush stuff. I love it. Oh, Anka, what's up, girl? Yeah, you stay sassy. Anka, Anka. She has perfected the winged eyeliner, and I really respect that because if you wear eyeliner, you know the struggle. Coco! Guys, Coco has a custom welcome mat. What? All right, I'm going to resist every urge to go say hi to Coco because it would kind of weird me out if I went in there and she was like, oh, you're Squeaks? Who the heck are you? Because, I mean, Coco, we are, we're best friends. <laughs> Oh, I, I like, again, how this river looks so natural. The edges are so nice. Oh, a tiger. I love it, too. It's so pretty. Oh, our winged eyeliner queen also has a custom welcome mat. Oh, I guess they all do. Oh, Fauna's hanging out at Tangy's house. We love to see it. <gasps> Guys, look, Tangy has a little orange table and an orange hyacinth. The little details are so precious. Fauna. Okay. 
something tells me that Lily probably has like a mansion and a waterfall entrance, but we'll see. Give me some eyeliner tips, girl. Okay. Oh, look at this. The double rivers with the waterfalls. So nice. Okay. Maddie. Super cute. <laughs> Sky. <laughs> These custom bats are just precious. Oh my goodness. Yes, look at this. I saw this on Skylar's Instagram. I love the purple hyacinths and the purple mum. Something tells me purple is Skylar's favorite color. Okay, ooh, this is some of my favorite wallpaper. Um, in case you guys ask, it is, I think, the cafe wall. And Andrew, there's, don't hate that your resident services is by your airport. I actually did a whole Instagram post on how you can make that work. So there's really cool things you can do with it. Also, I got distracted by the chat again. Hopefully Skylar went in this room. She did not, but welcome to Skylar's bathroom. Oh. Whoops. Well, anyways, it's really cute. There's an automated toilet that looks like it's talking. That's going to be in my nightmares. So thanks for that, Skylar. You're going to be hearing from me tonight when I can't sleep because of your animatronic toilet. Um, okay, so she said bedroom. Let's let's assume she went. Okay, sorry. I'm just playing some piano. Forgive me. We got to go in your room now because I haven't gone yet. Yes, Emma, that wallpaper is so pretty. I, I got mine from Sahara. I'm wondering if that's the only way to get it. Oh, Skylar's got a big lily poster. Little TV, telescope. Love this pillow and the white log furniture. Super cute. Really, really, really adorable room. That is the best word for it. That room is so freaking adorable. Okay, Skylar, I don't know if you're listening to me in the stream, but I'm sorry I got distracted. Yes, Goblin, that's how, on my first island, that's my issue, is that um, my airport was slightly off center from my resident services, and it drove me bananas. But there are some really cute things that you can do with it, especially by covering it up. Okay, I have somehow managed to go back in the bathroom and lose Skylar again. So, guys... Oh, Catnip, thanks so much for subscribing. Oh, Catnip's an ASMR channel, so I'll be hitting you up when I'm trying to go to sleep. Um, Katie, thank you so much for joining. Good night, and I hope you'll catch up tomorrow. And I'm sure I'll talk to you tomorrow anyways. Oh, hey, Captain, island hopping has been so fun, except I definitely am having trouble staying focused and following the people as I should be. Um, super cute kitchen, all the ironwood furniture. What a gold mine in here. Love the fruit infuser. Really nice little detail. Oh, guys, Selena has the cafe wallpaper. Good to know. Ashley, I have got to get Maddie as it's my... Aw, that's so cute. Well, I hope you get her. Oh, Skylar, no problem. Okay, we're going to go downstairs now. Y'all, I have like, I'm sitting hunched over and weird on my couch. I think I need to get a proper chair. Oh my gosh, look at this room, guys. How fun. So she has all of their posters. Some of my absolute favorites on the wall. Talking to these guys over here, right corner. This is such a cute idea. I need a closet that size in real life. Okay, so Skylar, does that wrap up the house portion of the tour? I'm gonna assume yes. Okay. 
Okay, we'll just wait for her right here. Oh, hey, Mark. Thanks so much for joining. Um, hey, Joe. So we are on, I believe, Sunhaven. It is bubblegum underscore crossings island. It is so pretty. Um, she has the coolest room downstairs with all the clothes in it and all her villager portraits. Oh, how fun. So we have a little farm area. I love this custom, like the custom soil. Another gnome, guys. We love them. Three silos. This is so cool. And I, I know there's rumors about Nintendo adding farming options and crops to the game. So Skylar's all set up if that happens. Ooh, I love this little museum area. I love how she used the fossil as decor. Oh, hey, Mark. Oh, Queenie. Queenie's the best. Oh, Flick's on her island today. I know Flick has a pretty passionate fan base. Oh, look how pretty. I love her flower area. So nice. Very organized, which we like. A little bamboo area. This is relaxing. Oh, this cute little picnic area. Oh, I think we're about to go up there now. So, <laughs> Katie, I knew someone was going to make a weird flick comment. So, thank you. I'm glad it's you. Um, I, th I have a ladder, right? <laughs> I do. Okay. A little diner. Wow. It is really something that she has all of this coordinating diner furniture. Let's hear it for Skylar in the chat. That is not an easy feat and people on Nooka Zombie crazy. So good job, Skylar. It looks great. Oh, a little picnic. Love this. Volleyball. Um, I have no coordination and I play zero sports. So I don't have any volleyballs on my island. Hey, Flick, what's up? Everything is just so pretty and natural. Queen Inca, Anka. Oh, yay. Well, thank you so much, Skylar. I had so much fun and so much good inspo here. I'm trying to clap. Why? Okay. Oh, because I'm holding a ladder. Sorry, guys. All right. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Thank you so much, Skylar, for the presents. Um, okay, airport. Woohoo! So I think up next we have Tiger. Um, most of y'all probably follow her. Her Instagram handle is New Horizons, spelt with H U in Horizons. And she has the beautiful island of Peoria. And we're going to head there next. Skylar described it to me as a tropical paradise. And that's what we all need in our lives right now. Because I'm sitting at home drinking wine in sweatpants. So I need a little bit of tropical paradise. All right, guys. So you know what this means. I am going to switch back to the loading screen. And I'm actually going to grab a snack. So I'm going to take a slightly longer break this time. Um, but I will see you guys back here. Let's see. It's 731. So let's say 741. We'll go ahead and start touring Tiger's Island. <laughs> yes, ti the Tiger Queen. Forget Tiger. You thought you liked Tiger King. Get ready for the Tiger Queen. Yes, Alex Tiger is a beautiful baby. Marin, she yes, again, I can't wait to see her island either. I'm excited. More on Tiger later. We'll be right back.
guys, we are back. Also, hey Joy, I'm Queenie's number one fan too. I, wow, her island is something. Also, this song is a little bit loud, so I'm just gonna quickly switch songs. Okay. All right, guys, Tiger is eating dinner. So we are just gonna, we're just gonna run around freely as instructed. Okay, so where should we start? Let's see. Well, actually, hold on. Let, let me get focused since no one's gonna be helping me here. Let's start from the beginning. Entrance. Love the tropical vibes. Very different from what we've seen so far. So really cool to see all the different kinds of islands. Oh, I love all the bright colors that she used. The oranges and the pinks and the reds and yellows. Such a cool combination. Fountain. Awesome. Okay, so let's... Well, how should we do this? Let's go to the left first. Why not? Hey Kay, welcome to the stream. All right, so really, really cute flamingos, cute little dinosaur cut out back there. This is hilarious. Love how she put these flowers and then mixed the bushes and the hedges. It's just super lush and tropical and green. Cute little cone here. I'm assuming this is her DIY area maybe. site and beach oh she's got the cute shell bed book on the ground again this is kind of what I was talking about earlier I love when people have an eye and they're able to just put different objects on the ground and make it look so aesthetic and not messy <laughs> another shell bed rocking chair love this love the stones on the beach too it's cute little the snow globe I'm a fan, whatever it is. What is this? Oh, it's like the peach surprise box, except less creepy because there's not, I don't think there's a baby in it. All right, over this bridge we go. Her little camp area. Ooh, I love how she mix matched the paths. Gives it a really interesting look. Give you guys a bird's eye view. Little park info sign. Cute. The trash can. Oh my gosh. In one of my Instagram posts, I talked about how uh, when I first got the game, I was like, I will never decorate with a trash can. But it adds so much. So 10 out of 10 would recommend using a trash can as decor. Love the flowers on the beach. Just super, super cute. All these little details. The park info sign is killing me. Okay, so let's see. You got a little sitting area over here. Oh, and then she has like a little playground and a rock climbing wall. Oh, Stephanie, interesting. Okay, that's really cute. That's way less creepy than that, um, that peach surprise box with that weird little baby that pops out oh my god Jacob you're so funny <laughs> oh well thank tell him thank you so much for for watching okay let's see cute little pool area with the fruit infused water oh the floor lights we love a good floor light Little seating area. This is so cute. Mossy rock. I just, I love all the different flower combinations because I don't know, I'm a weenie. I guess I'm just not that daring, but my island is pretty much all white flowers and I love, I love all the bright colors. Very, 
this is so fun. We have like a little retro arcade. I love the pastel color block stereo and the ice cream. So creative and eclectic and I love that. Football, you guys and your athletics. Okay. Oh, the fortune cookie cart from Pocket Camp. Okay guys, quick Pocket Camp rant really fast. So when I first got Pocket Camp, I was just obsessed with it. And it took all my money. I don't know if I just have no self-control. I, I feel like I need to take the blame for it. But I could not resist buying those little leaf tickets on Pocket Camp. It, it's a problem. I'm so glad New Horizons came out and I got a Switch. Because otherwise, I would have gone completely broke from Pocket Camp fortune cookies. And that's the tea on that. Oh, hey, Rachel. Oh, I'm so glad you're here at the stream. Guys, Rachel, Sunny, underscore, ACNH, did the cutest commission for me. She's so talented. Wow, the artistic talent on AC Instagram is wild. But yes, welcome to the stream. Little cafe area. Oh, that... Cherry Blossom Lantern. That, I think, is the only item I crafted during the Cherry Blossom event. But, wow. It's pretty stinking cute, guys. Okay, let's see. Nook's Cranny. This is, oh, I love how she used the bushes again. So fun. And the flower combos. We have Abel's. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this before. I love the the little umbrella storage. This just feels like a real, like, tropical little resort town. I love it. Okay. Resident service. Oh, my. Yikes, Krispies, guys. What is that? Look at it. Yikes. Hey, Atlee, we are on... Tiger's Island. She is New Horizons on Instagram. Horizons spelt with an H-U. It is a tropical paradise. She, in real life, is eating dinner right now, so I have been left to my own devices to explore, which is really not good news because I have no sense of direction, even in a game, even with the map in the bottom right-hand corner. So bear with me. We're just checking it out. We're doing a little self-guided tour. Oh, hey there, Elle. Welcome. Animal Crosser bread. I'm not a fan of bread because I have celiac, but um, I did really love bread at one point in my life, so I appreciate your username. Uh, welcome to the AC community, and welcome to the stream. We are touring some really awesome islands tonight. I, I've gotten so much inspiration already. Okay. Let's see. Gumball machine. Jukebox, love how she placed all of these things. And I, I love seeing how people decorate their villager houses too. This is so cute. The bird bath. The waterfall. Um, I did this on my first island too, and I love that she did it just like picking different flowers for each of the villager houses that kind of match their personality. So fun. We have a little street piano. Check out the beach area. Ah, that mushroom partition is frightening. I'm sorry, but it's really scary. I love all the mush items, but uh, I'm just not vibing with that mush partition. Ah, oh, so pretty. This is like the perfect time to tour the island too. It's like, I guess, dusk. Everything just looks so nice. This little rubber ducky in the... In the inflatable pool, she's got like a little DIY workbench area. Oh my gosh, you're gluten free too? That's why bread isn't. Oh my god, I love that. Well, I'm so glad. Because at first I was salty. I was like, this person coming into the chat with bread in their username when I don't even remember what bread tastes like. Okay. 
Ah, oh, beautiful. But we knew Tiger's Island was going to be beautiful. She's a beautiful person inside and out. <laughs> there, she's popping up. Oh, hey, Jillian. Thanks so much for subscribing. Oh, my God, Atlee. <laughs> no, um, Bread is my ex, though, technically. Um, I've been diagnosed with celiac going on two years now, so it has been a while since I was in a committed relationship with Bread, but that's fine. Tell him thanks for rubbing it in. I don't want to miss anything, so I'm just kind of going around. Oh, Katie, the pretty post on Instagram. Oh, Summer, are you really? Awesome. Dusk is one of my favorite times in the game. I really like early morning. Um, I'm a weenie, and I just don't like terraforming or doing anything at night, so... Dusk is like the last time I'm able to get stuff done in the game. Okay, love this arch. Assuming it's a southern hemisphere, like a fall item. Oh, hey, Cherry. What's up, girl? I love how um, the villager houses are placed. Like, she has the row below, and then... This next level up. Oh my God, Jillian, do people really pronounce it Gillian? I feel like, I don't, listen, I'm bad at a lot of things, but I do know that Jillian isn't a hard G. The moon chair. Excuse me, okay. Another trash can, guys. Look at that trash can. I'm telling you, if you're not decorating with trash cans, you're missing out. So let's go up here, see what's up. We have some more houses. Oh, tiny library. This is so cute. So she has a little like floral, florist, greenhousey area. Seating arrangement. Some more seating. Oh. It's just, it's so amazing. I love her terraforming, and you can tell that this probably took so much time. And uh, guys, just a quick thing. I, my alerts are being really finicky, so if you did subscribe and I didn't shout you out, it's only because I didn't see it, so I'm so sorry, but thank you so much for subscribing. I have so many exciting things in store for this channel. Really want to do like another tier of membership and organize it by Harry Potter house because I... I'm very passionate about Harry Potter houses, so um, I can't actually introduce the next tier of subscribing until I reach 1,000 followers. So uh, thank you for your support. Every single subscriber is helping me reach that goal. Okay. Let's see. So we've done the left side of the island and we did this top side. Let's see what's going on in the on the right. This is so weird. I like when people lead me around. Okay, we're going to cheat a little bit and use the ladder. Oh, Isle of Avalon. I wish I could terraform like that too. She Terraforming is a gift, guys. So I love how she put that hand cart there. Just makes the island look so cozy and lived in. Blue lighthouse. Hey, Ashley. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I'm still learning how YouTube works, but from what I can see, my other live stream is still saved as a video on here. So yes, the rest of the live will be available. Thank you so much for joining and for subscribing. Oh, that frightening mush partition, guys. Look at this. She has a little restaurant. This food looks Awesome. I am starving. Big fan. You love Avalon too, Joy? Joy is everyone's hype woman, and I am here for it. I love that. All right, guys, I'm just going to pan the camera around a little bit just so you can see from above. There's Tiger, but she's actually eating. I love this 
little luggage item. I know that it was a prize from the Mayday Maze. And listen, okay, I haven't admitted this yet, but I did not do the Mayday Maze because I am afraid of mazes in real life. And for some reason, I thought I was going to somehow get stuck. And I'm really sad now because the luggage is so cute. Oh my god, Summer, there's a lot of mush partitions on your island. I forgive you, it's fine. The mush stuff is cute, but the partition is just very aggressive. Okay, so I I think we covered most of it. I would hate if we missed something. Did we see her museum? I'm not entirely sure. Let's make sure. Oh, so cool. I love these little... These little heads are a great detail. Oh, and I really like that she put the fountain here because obviously most people put it at the entrance. Okay, I, I, we're doing a little bit of off-roading here. Clearly, I, I can't stick to the, to the sidewalk. Hey, Janice, I did not go to Tiny Libraries yet. I... I think she might be next up. I got to check. Actually, I think Misty's next up. I will let you guys know shortly who's next up. Uh, yes, Kelsey, this truly is Island Goals. It's amazing. Um, well, I think I got most of it, guys. Again, excuse me, I'm directionally challenged, but if you guys want to see more of this island, I highly recommend following all of these creators on Instagram. Um, but you can, you can find Tiger at New Horizons. Lily is the best. She, don't forget to take a pic with her. Lily, you are on top of things. Thank you. I'm lost. I am truly lost. Even though there's a map next to me. Oh, all right, there she is. Well, this is a little weird because she's not actually here, but let's take a picture. Oh, she is here. Thanks, girl. Okay. Perfect. And she's a tiger painting. Thank you to our tiger queen for the tour. Goodbye, turtle, and goodbye, turtle, too. It's been so wonderful. What a cool island, guys. I got some really great inspiration from that. All right, back to Honey Drop the Lily, go on the bench next to her. Um, yeah, I did not see that chat, and I 100% should have, but that's okay. We still got a cute picture. She finished eating in time. It's going to be okay. So, guys, next up, we have Katie. Her island is called Ocean Eye. Katie and I actually just connected recently on Instagram. Um, she bought one of my presets. Her photos are absolutely beautiful. I mean, she, she makes the preset what it is because her aesthetic is just gorgeous and she's actually going to start streaming soon she's been doing a couple instagram lives and they've been so fun um i really love katie i'm excited um so yeah sit back relax i'm going to switch the screens back to the loading screen get everything typed in and i will see y'all very soon
Hey y'all, we're back. We're headed to Ocean Eye. Really, really excited about this one. Also, I love seeing the islands that you guys are excited about in the chat. It's so cute. <laughs> Joy, island tours are the only thing you watch. Well, this stream's going to have a lot of fun stuff that isn't island tours. So maybe if you like it enough, you will stick around. Really cool content in store for you guys. Oh, hey, Cheyenne. Yes, I'm so excited for Misty's Island, too. We have a great lineup tonight. These are really some gorgeous islands. You guys are so talented. Whoa, flower goals. I saw this in Katie's live stream, and I just love her flower mix. And look at all those mush lamps, guys. So Katie described her island as cottage core meets fairy core, which I know is a super popular aesthetic, but it's also kind of tricky to pull off. Uh, Katie definitely pulls it off beautifully. I love her content. So let's take a closer look. Oh, thank you, Joy. Welcome. I wish I got alerts, but you know. <laughs> What, last time we learned how to put background music. Hopefully next time we learn how to fix alerts. Hello, you little cute angelfish. Look how cute Katie is. Okay, starting with the tiny library. So you know it's going to be good. Also, her username is literally tiny library. So there better be more than one, Katie. Don't let me down. Mush stool. Oh, look at this, guys. This is so beautiful. Oh, I love it. I love the little shoes by the picnic area. Look at, oh, I love this. Ooh, I've never seen the um, the Lily record player in pink. It's so cute. Little, little wooden planks. Ooh, a steaming bathtub. That looks wonderful. Some cute little hats. Oh, another gnome. Guys, we need an alert to go off every time there's a gnome on an island. And then I peer pressure you guys to take a sip of whatever you're drinking, pretty much. Oh, hey, Blue Shoes. Yeah, I love how natural it is, too. It's so beautiful. And this little piano is so pretty. Look. Oh. And Katie, a woman of many talents, playing the piano. I love how she used a tree stump as the piano stool, too. That's so creative. Oh, we're hopping. We're trying to hop. Oh, there's something there. Oh, there's a little teacup. How cute. I keep saying how cute. I need some I need some new reactions. A little mushroom patch. A big mushroom. Oh, look how cool this is, guys. She like carved out a little area with terraforming and made it like a little little plant area. The, I love terraforming like this. It, it's like a all these little walkways. It's so fairy-like. Oh, I love this sign. Moon chair. Oh, it's raining. We did not bring an umbrella. Where's clap? There we go, guys. Clapping for Katie. Katie's the best. Hey, Misty. Another tiny library. Okay, good. You're living up to your name, and that's important. I had high expectations for the number of tiny libraries on this island. Oh, I love that candle and the typewriter. Oh, Avalon, it is so beautiful. Look, I love these little, like, single terraformed waterfalls. They're just so magical. This damn suitcase that I don't have because of the my maze phobia. Oh, I love, oh, I, I don't know what this custom sign is, but I'm here for it. A lost item. Katie, you need to return this to its rightful owner. Instead of using it for your aesthetic, somebody is missing a book. All the white flowers, guys. Give me all the white flowers. They just look so beautiful. Tiny library number three. Okay, take a shot. Don't really. Don't if you're under 21. Yeah, the typewriter, Rachel, is so pretty. I love that detail. The little decoy duck. Super fun. Okay, so she has like different theming for her flowers. Because down there it was mostly white flowers. Now we've got some yellow mixed in. 
Yellow is a great color, guys. Yellow is a happy color. Ooh, look at this. I've never actually seen anything like this before. So cool. Ugh. Katie, why are you so good? Do you mind? You're making the rest of us look bad. Missy, use the lost item as decor. I don't know why. I'm just like, I, I feel the need to shoot, to open, shoot down every balloon and open every present because I've seen some people use presents as decor and they look so cute, but it just kills me. Lily, I, people are going to be like, that blathy is like her alcohol consumption's out of control. But I swear it's not, although quarantine has had me drinking a little more wine than normal. Um, but why not make a drinking game out of Animal Crossing, guys? Why the heck not? Yeah, Misty, it's... Uh, when weeds are used properly, they make such a pretty decoration. Like, they just make an island feel so much cozier, I think. I love it. Where'd she go? Oh. Okay, we have a little cafe area up here. I love using like white plank custom paths like this. It just looks so dreamy. Okay, we'll let Katie lead us. All right, I can't resist doing this with the water pump. I don't know what's wrong with me. Sorry, guys. Okay, Katie, I'm here. Where'd you go? Oh, another library. Okay, guys. Lily, I'm talking to you. Take a sip. This is so pretty. Ooh, I love how she um she used the the mush log in the library. There's just something about making a little library in like a foresty natural town that is so wonderful. Oh my god, Summer, you're killing me. <laughs> Another gnome! Guys, full disclosure, drinking during this stream is not required. It's just a fun suggestion. Okay, I love this. Katie, if you can hear me right now and you're listening to this, we need to pause because I don't know what these bees thing, bee things are. I love them though. And the fact that you used all these yellow flowers and the bees and then the gnome with the orange hat this is such a happy little area okay sorry back on track oh guys look at this look at this view let's just admire it from every angle possible so pretty I am not a very good person at following people around. Okay, I love, love, love that she has this little graveyard and that she's carrying an axe and probably going to kill me. But I love spooky stuff, hence my obsession with Coco. Do I have the laughter reaction on this account yet? No. Well, Katie, I'm laughing. Um, Nicole, yeah. Somebody just... Somebody just make me a an island of tiny libraries oh the beehive thing summer i would absolutely love that wow you you're coming in clutch oh look at this guys it's so dreamy anyways i got off track again but i love her little graveyard i think it's such a spooky cool touch um that the western style stone is even an option as a diy in the game uh, something that I really want to do on my island is make like a spooky haunted forest and use that. Maybe I'll put Coco's house there. Ooh, okay. Black roses. Really a, a big fan of those. How cute. I love how she used the little tires and it's an all like white and pink theme in here. And I love how her rivers go all different directions, like how they intersect here and then it's diagonal. So, so dreamy. And this harp, I feel like that's, like how to have a fairy core island 101. Q 
cute little teacups everywhere and then random musical instruments. But if I tried to do that, it would look like I was lazy and just didn't know where else to put the piano. But when Katie does it, it looks just perfect. This is a really cute sitting area. The little wash tub. I just feel like I'm in a dream. Yes, Joy nailed it. It is so dreamy. That is the perfect way to describe this. And this yellow. Ugh. Oh my gosh. The infamous watermelon beach ball. Guys, again, I've become that annoying girl that asks for things on stream. But if you happen to have an extra watermelon beach ball laying around and you're like, you know what? Lathies would love this. And I think I should give it to her. This is really pretty. Ugh. Lily, oh, I have no doubt that your island is already worthy of a Blathies tour. Again, I will put out another um, Instagram story asking for people to volunteer to have their island toured. So I highly encourage you to do it. Look at this. This little, like, cozy walkway here. I love it. Kimberly has an extra watermelon and Avalon has an extra watermelon. Woohoo! Hype it up in the chat, guys. Spare watermelons. We need an alert for that, too. And, S Summer, you are giving me so much. I, I can't be, like, A, how do you have all these amazing things that I want? Look at this sign, guys. Look at the detail on that. I'm not wearing my glasses right now in real life, so I actually can't see what it is. I just know that it's an incredibly detailed sign. Yeah, Summer, you really are hooking me up, and I truly appreciate that. Okay, let's take a look around. Super cozy. Um, Katie's got harps on harps on harps. Ooh, the key holder DIY. I'm not asking for any more things in the stream, guys. I swear. Hopefully, I will shoot a balloon that happens to have the key holder DIY in it. Jacob, your island seems half the size of everyone else's. <laughs> right? This is definitely, like, giving these island tours, I'm like, are we playing the same game? Is my game different? This flooring is amazing. Oh, I just, I love all the natural wood in here. It's so just cozy and cottagey. How cute. Oh, the botanical wall. Big fan. And there's a bird bath in here and a bookshelf. This is a very well-read island, guys. I mean, there's a lot of books here. That was such a dumb sentence. I'm sorry. Clearly, I've had too much wine already. The coffee grinder, little coffee signs, so precious. Okay. Oops, sorry. Oh my goodness. Oh, Rachel. Yeah, I mean, during streams, I've just been so nervous. Like, I can't even tell you guys when I, every time I'm like about to go live, I'm like shaking a little bit. But then I, then I actually get into the groove of things and I'm comfortable. I love this room. I am a sucker for pink, and I feel like my room in Animal Crossing is always going to be pink, but I love that she used all these pretty blue tones in here. 
And there's more books. I mean, what more could you want? Yes, oh my gosh, the cutest bedrooms, Avalon. We have just, these islands are crazy. Okay, oh, upstairs. Look at this kitchen. Okay, so I know um, Mosswick Isle also put her kitchen upstairs, and I love it because there's so many cute kitchen items in the game that why limit it to a small room when you could have a giant kitchen filled with snacks? Also, I know I asked this on my last live stream, but again, I'm so hungry. What is everyone snacking on right now so I can live vicariously through you? Because this is not an ASMR channel, so I, don't worry, I will not be eating while streaming. Okay. Well, it looks like that concludes our tour of Katie's house. So pretty. I'm kind of glad it's raining on her island because I feel like it just really fits the aesthetic. Oh, she's kicking me out, guys. Katie, thank you so much for having us. Your island is so beautiful. I love all your tiny libraries. Follow Katie on Instagram at tiny libraries with a Y instead of an IE. I see what you did there, girl. I put her link in the description, but her content is so beautiful. Lily's eating a whole pie. <laughs> oh my gosh, girl, I do that too. I mean, only corn tortillas now because that's who I have to be with celiac, but I could totally go for just a plain tortilla. Carrot cake Oreos, those are a thing. Oreo comes out with some wild flavors, guys. Wild flavors. Yes, Joy, I second that. Katie did such a great job. She was a great tour guide. Also, Sharon, you are a woman after my own heart because first you are drinking coffee at 7 p.m., which totally a mood. That is me. That's my lifestyle choice. And now you're eating hot Cheetos, which is a, definitely a top tier snack for me. So I'm, I love you, Sharon. Not to be weird, but I absolutely love you. So Guys, next on our list, we're going to be visiting Misty at Makuahine. And I did have to ask her how to pronounce it because I noticed a lot of island tours on YouTube, the people hosting them just don't really give a crap if they completely butcher the pronunciation. And um, I care about that. I want to pronounce the island names the way that you guys intended them to be pronounced. So Makuahina. Makuahine, she told me, means mother in Hawaiian. And I think that that's so cute. I love it. I'm really excited to show it off to you guys. So, um, yeah, hang tight. I'm going to switch screens and we'll get started on Misty's tour. Thank you guys so much.
All right, guys, get excited. We are headed to Misty's Island next. And I know she wrote that in the chat, but I'm just going to say it again. Her island, Makuahine, means mother in Hawaiian. And Michelle, I saw your message, and I completely agree. I noticed it's a huge thing on YouTube just with content creators mispronouncing names. And a lot of the most talented creators – are not American and do not have English island names. So, I mean, the least you can do is ask how to pronounce it properly. But yeah, shout out to Misty for walking me through the pronunciation. I love that it means mother. All right, yay, we are here. So exciting on Misty's Island, it's Friday. Heck yeah. All right, um, Misty, I can't remember. I think you said you wanted me to just roam. Um, so let's roam, let's do it. Or are, you, are you touring me? You're touring me, you're touring me. All right, so we have this little beach area here. Cute little beach towels. This butterfly book, I'm obsessed with it. I don't even really use my other books because they're just not as cute as that one. I love this Cosmo shower. So precious. I also, look guys, she put down this cute little, uh, these tile custom paths. It looks so good. Okay, sorry, I got distracted again. Ugh. Double waterfall entrance. Look at this little sign, guys. Look at little blathers. Yes, obviously, my username is 100% inspired by blathers. I absolutely love him. I think he's the most precious baby angelfish in the world. And yeah, when he says jolly good, my heart just completely melts. Atlee was inspired to put more tiny libraries. Heck yeah. We stand tiny libraries on this channel, y'all. Oh, this is awesome. I love when people decorate with the fossils that they find, but I'm just too impatient. So, it, like, every time I get a fossil that's not already in my museum, my first instinct is basically to go sell it. Oh, my goodness. Look. At how cute this is. I love seeing what people do with their peers. Because there's just so many cool things that you can do. And look, it's like a little little painter setup. Yeah, icy air. I like it too. Um, so it's so irritating, but you can't center an incline uh, with the entrance to the museum. And I learned that out the hard way. And I haven't broken it down yet or demolished it and rebuilt it. But I love seeing how people have... Um, the double staircases. Blathers is the cutest cutie. Thank you. I feel like he doesn't get a lot of love. People are always like, oh, Celeste, Celeste. Blathers is adorable and he's scared of bugs. Okay. Love. Oh, I love that she put a wreath on all of the houses. I gave Molly a mushroom wreath and I guess she hates it because she put it out one day and then it disappeared. So thanks, Molly. You're really not all cracked, all you're cracked up to be. Also, gnomes galore, Misty. You could have warned me. We have so many gnomes. Oh, a little pool area. And these poolside beds. I really was on a mission to find a poolside bed. I finally found one, but they're so cute. Ooh, Cheyenne, I'm excited to see it too. Oh, look, Lily's here. I don't know if Skylar is still in the chat, but Lily's here. Hey, Lily. Lily is such a cute frog. There is apparently a gnome on every stoop. Jacob, oh my God, get out of here. <laughs> Are y'all seeing his comment? I don't know how to pin comments, but I... That's... What a gem. I would just want to embroider that on a pillow. Blathers walked so Celeste could run. Cute, cute. Gumball machine. Boom box. 
little soccer field, pink cosmos, a go board, cute little mushroom log thing. Okay, Misty, you have got to warn us. You've got to warn the stream. If you have Easter egg items, I am incredibly triggered. Oh, guys, that egg event, really, it hurt me. But um, very cute use of them. I like how you repurposed them. The color scheme obviously works great together. But, oh, man, was I happy to not get another Easter egg on the other end of my fishing pole. Look, guys. Look, I'm an athlete. Woohoo! Okay. Sports. Sandbox. So cute. Oh, trash can. Oh, uh, look at these flowers, guys. She has like a, a rainbow flower pattern. It's beautiful. Oh, my goodness. I love seeing the cafes. There's just, there's so many different creative things that you could do with them. I think this is like the lecture desk, maybe. The lecture podium. Like this is so cute with the white, the white wood deck custom path. Oh, and that cake hat looks amazing. Cafe sign. Mushroom partition, book club. Guys, look at this. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, love it. The only thing better than a tiny library is a full-size library. Oh, I like, I just love putting things on the log stools. It's just so, oh, coffee. We love that. Oh, I just love everything. I agree. I see. I love everything, too. It is so precious. Avalon, I know. I, like, I keep having flashbacks to Zipper hopping around. Don't mind me. Just carefully walking through your beautiful flowers. I love those purple mums. They are so pretty. Oh. Look at that, guys. Look, I'm on a five-star island. Hey, Mom, I made it. It's going to be so long until my second island is... I mean, my first island, I don't think it's even five stars. Because I basically use the entire entrance as a storage area. Like, if I'm terraforming or something, I'll just empty my pockets out. Oh, sorry, Isabel. Oh, my goodness. We love a rainbow flower field. And to think, I was impressed that she had that, like, one single line of rainbow flowers. And this is, like, all of them. Oh, I belong here. Frolicking. Okay, we're on a tour. This is not Blathies runs through flower fields and pretends that the world is not quarantined right now. That'll be the next stream, guys. <laughs> See you there. Oh, we got a little, little gardening area with these little mushes. Round mushroom. Pink windflowers are so, so pretty. Cheyenne, you are hyping up your sister in the chat, and it really warms my heart. And Misty's Island really is a pastel dream. It is so, so pretty. But I knew it was going to be. Look, it's super cute how she put these little, um, like the single fences. Oh my goodness, guys, look, look at this. Oh, we got to take a picture, Misty. Okay, ready? No, no, no. Her secret beach is so pretty. Misty, where you at, girl? Okay. Yay. We need to find a good picture spot, though. Yes, Avalon, the... 
the way that she used the single fences is so, it's just really unique. I love it. Cute little campsite area. I cannot stop thinking about food. Like the first thing I thought of when I got to this area was, oh my God, there's chili in that soup kettle and it looks bomb. Tiny library alert. I love how y'all are using these little decoy ducks. Oh, guys, look at this. Look how she put the, like, extended the rainbow flower field. Oh, and I love this cutout here. The terraforming cutout with the waterfalls. This is her house. Got a little picnic area. Cute little bench. Okay. I'm getting up. Hi, let me in. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, so many comments. Hold on. The A, we all love the cafe wall. It is just gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Look at that sunny sky, look at those trees. But also she used the garden custom sign code as wall art and it's so cute. Really, really cute bathroom area. I love the art on the wall. Oh, this is super creative with this little part partition here. I'm not even sure what that is, but I love it. And look at the, guys, look at the graphics on this rug. Uh, like if you look at this mat, I can feel it between my toes just by looking at it. That is nuts. Okay. On to the next room. All right, where to next, Misty? This room is so, so precious. I don't know what my favorite part is because it's all so cute. Oh my gosh. So I, I feel like Misty is so good at using items in unconventional ways, like how she put the garden custom sign up in the living room as wall art. And then like she put a wreath indoors. It just... It's so creative. Hey, Icy Air, thanks for subscribing. Apparently, like, occasionally I'll see an alert, and that was one of them. So thanks so much. I think we went upstairs. Nope, oh, nope, that's Misty's DIY room. Something tells me I was not supposed to go up there. <laughs> Misty, if you can hear me right now, I'm sorry. I didn't realize we were going to the basement. Oh, this is so, so fun. Look. Guys, I love it. It's a little train. Periodic table of elements, because who doesn't want to be reminded of biology class? <laughs> oh, she has all her little happy home academy things up. Cute little dolls. I love this train. Misty, again, if you can hear me, I don't know where I got lost. I ended up upstairs, and I know I wasn't supposed to go up there, so, oh. Oh, 
Okay, so where were we supposed to go? To the left. Oh, I love this kitchen. Well, so first off, I feel like not mm, less people use the ironwood furniture and customize it to be darker. But it just, it looks so good. And this carrot cake looks amazing. And she has these cute little place settings and this rug. Everything just, I love it. And the fruit infused water and then the orange clock on the wall. Everything just goes together so well. Also, that wallpaper is awesome too. All right, I think looks like that's it for Misty's house. Oh, I've never seen a gnome with a green hat before. I really like that one. And these rainbow flowers are just absolutely killing me. So pretty, I don't wanna leave them. <laughs> Oh, this is so, so cute. And look at all the flamingos. And I love the white lighthouse. Cute little beach towel. And a little spa area. Campfire. I think this is my favorite part of the Animal Crossing Islands is just like the little rocky ledges that are right by the ocean. Oh, an unpicked money tree. Okay, girl, I see you. Weird flex, but okay. Y'all know I can't resist this. Oh, I love this little setup that she has here with the anchor from the fishing tourney. And then um, the ship in a bottle just so creative and these little inflatable couches I've never seen one in the uh, the rainbow stripes before that's super cute too a hammock she just has so many cute little like sitting areas set out Missy you'll have to tell me in the chat do your villagers actually use them I cannot get my villagers to sit down in a cute little aesthetic sitting area they just want to sit on the ground Yay! Well, thank you so much, Misty. I hope you guys loved her island as much as I did. It's so, so, so beautiful. And definitely a lot of creative design ideas on there. Some things I'd never seen before. So, Misty, thank you so much. All right, let's see, guys. So, we have two island tours left uh next up we have queenie and i know so many of you guys messaged me and asked me to tour queenie's island she happens to be someone that i talk to a lot on instagram so it worked out absolutely perfectly she was more than happy to let us tour so i'm super excited she has like a japanese city urban themed island and it's very different from the other islands that we've saw we've seen so far so Excited to look at that. And then after that, we have Summer of Sunnydale. She described hers as magical, flowery, and a wonderland. So pretty much can't go wrong with these next two islands. So excited to see them. So sit back, relax. I'm going to take a quick break, and I will see you guys soon.
All right, guys, we are back and we're going to Queenie's Island next. Um, I'm sure you've seen her island on Instagram. It is amazing. I mean, it is so unique. And she also has an island tour video up on YouTube. I linked that in the description as well. Um, I'm sure that she can probably give a better tour of her own island than I can. So I definitely recommend checking out her video. I watched it and I was just completely in awe. Like, look at this flyover. What the heck? Anyways, a little information that Queenie gave me. Um, her island is called Okinawa. Um, I believe it is an island in Japan. Someone please correct me if I'm wrong. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I actually practiced before the stream. I wanted to make sure that I said it as properly as possible. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's an urban city themed island. And I just love seeing what people create um, when they make urban islands like this. Yay! Okay, we're here. And Queenie did tell me that she has a little outfit for me to wear. I'm so excited. Okay. Presents? This is the best. And look at this wrapping paper. This is a, a very me wrapping paper. Yay! Okay. So let's... Oh, no, not drop I item. Okay. We've, we've got to get changed and ready. Key holder. Oh, I love you. Thank you. Nook Miles tickets. What is this Christmas? Okay, guys. I'm so excited. So I, I just have to fangirl for a second. I think, I mean, Japanese culture is just incredible. It is so beautiful to me. Everything is just amazing. I'm really disappointed I am not even the tiniest bit Asian because just everything is so gorgeous. Wow. Maintenance will soon begin. Guys, we can't have maintenance during the stream. Okay. I'm just, I'm in awe. So it's an urban themed island, but when you walk in, obviously you have this gorgeous zen area with the cherry blossoms and this kimono stand and oh my goodness a little moon chair can't resist a moon chair sorry <laughs> and all ugh, all the bamboo I love that she uses the bamboo items and then she also has the bamboo there as well these beautiful cherry blossom lanterns with the pink rose oh my gosh I'm getting chills is that weird that I'm getting chills from how beautiful this island is look at this oh my god and the surfboard so cute she has like a little coconut juice stand area and a little hula girl can no I, oh let's take a picture great idea sit um okay wait let's zoom in a little bit No, Queenie! I missed the picture. There's a delay. Okay, we tried, guys. Avalon, thank you so much for joining. And thanks for staying up so late with us. I appreciate you. Oh, this is so cool. I just love how there's all these different themes that are mixed together. Like, she has the urban side of things but then there's like this cozy little beach area and her campsite misty this is next level like this is this is the exact kind of island where i'm like we do there's no way our games are the same oh my gosh the street and the train tracks like, just the fact that she laid these train tracks out and a fortune cookie cart. Hey, Mitzi. Unfortunately, you did think it was the first island that we toured because she lives in the UK, so it was already really late for her. But um, the stream will be saved on my YouTube channel, so go back and watch it and look at all thicket and its thickety beauty. Look at this. I just can't get over this. So a little stall right here. Okay. I did not mean to sit down. Utility pole. 
Rachel, how is this island so beautiful? Retweet, girlfriend. Oh my, what? This is so stunning. So she has a little marketplace area here. And what I like about this too is it's not like overbearingly city-like. It's like the perfect amount because she has all these pretty flowers. And I love how her villager houses are right here. Like it just, it's, it's perfect. I'm speechless. Maybe the clickbait title of this video should be like, Animal Crossing Island brings girl to tears. Queenie is a queen. Queenie, I'm, if Queenie is your given name, then your parents really named you perfectly because you are you are the Animal Crossing queen. Oh. This area is so fabulous. She has like these little beach chairs set out. And like who can make porta potties look cute? Queenie. Queenie did it. Hashtag Queenie did that 2020. Sandcastle. Oh. Joy, the, Queenie's your sister? Oh my god. Wow. So then you're probably insanely creative too. It definitely runs in the family. This is just out of this world. Out of this world. The flowers are so pretty I, by the zen fencing. These beach towels are so cute. Misty, it, it really, it's like a little city. It's just everything is impeccably planned and set out and the way that she has the trees set up I am a huge fan I'm a big fan of Queenie but I think everybody is and again I put Queenie's YouTube link in the description so y'all go follow her because I bet there's some fire content on the way from Queenie I think we can expect that Oh my gosh, Joy and Queenie are your big sisters. Oh my goodness. The whole fam. Okay, so I'm assuming that you guys are all just insanely talented. This is just... Does anyone else want to just burn their island down and start over? Like the pink bike is just such a cute touch. And the... Oh! The clothesline... She even makes the utility pole look cute. I don't understand. Oh my god, this is so cute. Look at the little boba tea stall and these cakes. Love the moss ball. Libby, oh my gosh, I feel you, girl. And then you see islands like this, and I'm like, well, I'm not even capable of creating something like this. So, um, yeah. The heart pond, it's so cute. I hope she sees, there's like a little bit of a delay, but I hope she sees me and comes and takes a picture. Wait, come here, Queenie. Okay. This delay is making it very difficult. So fun. She has this little arcade set up. Okay. Perfect. It's been challenging to get pictures just because there is that little bit of delay with streaming. Look, this is just, I'm in awe. I feel like I, I finally shut up because normally I can't stop talking, but I'm just taking this whole island in and I'm legitimately speechless. This is uh, the water. This, look at this terraforming, guys. This is 
Raid A terraforming over here, this waterfall setup. Misty, yeah, I'm starting over. <laughs> Girl, I know, this is nuts. Beautiful, I love how she lined um, the uh, like the little marketplace nook's cranny area with the trees and then she lined the trees with flowers. It's like nature's fencing. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, a little laptop. This is so cute. Okay. Amazing. Queenie is our queen. What I love about today's stream, though, is that all of these islands are just so amazing in their own way. Like, they're all so different, and it's just, I, I love seeing what you guys create. So, so pretty. Oh, my gosh. Now, this, this is my kind of, this is my kind of place, a little spa. Oh, I don't have my camera on. Damn it. Oh, sorry. Bad word. Sorry, guys. I don't know how to act. I'm just so in awe of this island that, um, yeah. Amazing. Her five star flowers. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. So she has these little, um, like this little hidden flower field. Okay, wait. Oh, so cute. Libby, I agree that I think all of AC Instagram were all really heated about the custom pass situation. Holy heck, guys. Look at this. She has like a little infinity pool. Oh, my gosh. Misty, I'm excited to see her house, too. I mean, if her island looks like this, what is her house going to look like? Okay, I think it's time for another photo op. Okay, so cute. <laughs> Misty, yeah, I think Queenie has more slots than us somehow. Queenie, how's it feel to be God's favorite? I don't, I don't even know if I really want to go on a house tour because I'm afraid that I'm just going to like throw my game out the window at this point. Oh, there's one more. Alice, I do not know what the maintenance is, but if anyone knows, that would be great because we do have one more island left on the tour. We're going to go visit Sunnydale with Summer. And I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to access her island with Dodo Code. Yeah, I'm hoping it it is, but we will find out soon. Uh look at this. Can I okay. I'm I'm really sorry. I'm treating Queenie's whole island like a giant photo op, but I just might never see anything this beautiful again, okay guys? <laughs> Misty. <laughs> yeah, wait, how do I not throw my switch out the window after this? Any advice, guys? Uh, 
amazing. And I, I love how she has these little bushes on the, like she left a patch of grass there. Oh, look at this. So peaceful and it's so beautiful in her waterfalls. Okay, cool, Summer. Thank you for checking that for me. Um, I feel like it should be totally fine. I, I mean, I feel like it would have kicked me off of Queenie's Island if there was going to be an issue with maintenance. Should I be crying too? Cry I'm crying tears of inadequacy. I will never have an island that looks like this. Guys, help me. What do I do? Okay. Oh, it's just so beautiful. And that koi fish. I swear, even her koi fish looks better than the koi fish on my island. So, I don't know. Even these cardboard boxes are cute, Queenie. Explain this to us. Oh my God, Misty, your, your daughter. <laughs> I mean, this island is, this is on another level. I don't know who said that in the chat earlier, but this island is on another level. But I think it's just a lot of people are, I, I don't know if they just, aren't willing to try a city themed island or they just really want the natural foresty look but I don't see a lot of islands like this and it's just so unique and and she does such an amazing job of tying in both like the urban look and the I'm stuck behind this street lamp but I don't even care I will happily be stuck on Queenie's Island forever well but not really because I'm so excited to go to Sunnydale and see Summer's Island too okay Casual, just a, a casual walkway between two waterfalls. Libby. <laughs> I know, she has a gift. Queenie, maybe we'll do a live stream one day where we just interview you because clearly we're all just so captivated by you and we're trying to understand like how you are this good at this game and at how you are as nice as you are and so perfect. I mean, we, this is now a Queenie Stan account. Welcome. I don't even know if I'm ready for this house tour, guys. Like, I need to mentally prepare myself for the beauty that is Queenie's house. Okay. What? Oh my goodness, guys, look at this. The stacked Zen cushions are such a beautiful touch. Like just, she's so good at using all these eclectic items and putting them together and just giving it such a unique look. Like I would never think to do that. Okay, are you serious right now? Are you guys seeing this? This is out of this world. <laughs> Faint. Yes. I, same, Allie. I'm just like, what? Oh, no, you guys. I think it's the maintenance. Okay, so it does appear like we have been kicked off due to Animal Crossing maintenance. I had no idea there was maintenance today. I'm not sure why I um, planned island tours during a maintenance day, so I'm so, so, so sorry. Um, summer was supposed to be our next island, but it looks like we unfortunately may have to reschedule that. 
Um, guys, let me know in the chat when um, when you'd like me to reschedule for. I, I was really excited to see Summer's Island. She just she described it as a flowery wonderland. I mean, what more could you want? Um, if you want a sneak peek, then go ahead and check out her Instagram. I linked it in the description of this video. Um, yeah, I mean, I think Queenie broke the game. She really did. Because Nintendo could not handle the perfection that is her island. And they needed to just shut down the entire thing. Because they were too worried that we were all going to start throwing our switches out the window. So... Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I'm sorry for the abrupt end and please send Summer so much love. I feel so bad because we were about to go there. So um, yeah, please guys give the creators so much love. Um, I'm going to talk to Queenie and find out when we can reschedule the rest of the tour because I know that we want to see the rest of her house. I also would like her to finish cooking me sushi. So um, yes, thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. And um, follow me on Instagram at Blathies and I'll be posting some updates on my story about um, when, we'll be, when we'll be rescheduling the rest of the tours for. All right, guys. Have a good night.